Hello everybody, my name's English Woodsman. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel and thank you for clicking on my video. If you're not yet a subscriber, if you're liking my trail cameras, please do subscribe. For my camping, my equipment reviews and outdoor cooking, what I'm going to be doing, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Now, if you're a regular viewer to my channel, you do know I've been putting out my SunTech trail camera and my Apeman trail camera over the last few weeks. What I've done is, because you may have noticed I've been putting them out in wide open areas, I just think open areas, you cover more ground, you have better chance of catching something. But then again, I'm a bit uh, nervous about them getting seen. So what I've done is, I brought some of this camouflage netting for Amazon, I think it was 3 99 And all I've done is, camouflaged them, as you can see. Uh what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you step by step how I did this. So I'll try and make it as interesting as I can, but as quick as I can. Now it's not affected anything, all I've really done is super glued it to the front of the camera and bit to the sides. Tell you what, let's get on with showing you on my uh, SunTech one. My SunTech camera is going to be a little bit different because it opens from the bottom. You put your batteries in your cards, control there. So I can't be covering the bottom up, and I've got to make sure these straps are free. I've got a few more sensors on it this time. Well, not more sensors, but a lot more on the front screen. So I need to be very careful. As you can see on the other one, I ain't covered any of the sensors, the camera. All the LED lights so this time I've just got to do it like this we can, I can do it it's not gonna be hard right like I say the camouflage stuff with 3 99 off Amazon you've got one side what's brown and you've got the other side that's green and I've already cut myself four strips one two Three. I've got another one somewhere. Four strips there, but we're going to put down it to add a bit of brown to the greenness. Just give it a little bit of more of a blending in. Right. So what I need to do is sort of find the centre where I'm aiming for, really. So if I say there gives it if I cut it up there for too much we'll cut it there but right, let's cut it down to length first what you're gonna need is some decent scissors for this part all this is doing really is just giving it a little bit of extra camouflage when it's on a tree a post or even at the bottom of a stump when summer's in, it's all blossomed up in the woods. It just gives that little bit of extra sort of hiding, let's say it like that. It is always 50-50 when you put your cameras out. Anyway, you're going to go back, they're going to be stolen. Even if you have the best advice, you know, how to put them up, what angles and stuff, or where to do them. If on that one day, someone comes along and they do water past your camera, if they're not any respectable human, they will take it, no matter how well you hide them. If they find them, and they're that sort of person, they're going to take it, no matter what you do. But this will hopefully just add that little bit of extra camouflage to it. That is pretty perfect. Right, what I need to do now is... Put the camera there and just gently pull it so I need to see whereabouts I need to cut off round the camera. Right, so I'll just quickly cut it out. What I'm showing you at the moment, it's not too safe, it's not all that you won't better do yourself. Right, super glue. I've just got the cheap stuff. The value super glue. 
With super glue, I always find the cheaper stuff is always the best. Don't know why. It's just what I've realised. But cheap silicone is not the better as the expensive silicone. What we need to do is, this is what people might be a bit scared of doing with the cameras. Is just applying a little bit of super glue there. And then you want to push it down. Don't worry about anything getting covered at the moment by any of the uh, leaf parts of it. We won't call it leaves, would you? What would you call them on this? By any of the uh, camo. Because what we're going to do is we're going to chop them round to the size we need them once they're glued in place. Oh, that stuck my finger instead. Pain in the ass that is. I'll put a few more drops here. Right, so what I've been doing is I've just been nipping around with the glue on most corners and little bits and bats, just, just gluing it down. Remember, we're not aiming for perfection. We're not aiming for it to be nice and pretty. We're aiming it to make it look like it's in its natural place without the rest of trees and things like that, bushes on a branch. Now, what we've done is, what I've done, not we, the sensor round here, I need to cut it off. Trim it up a little bit and stick some brown over. Now you might be thinking, man, you've messed it up, but just watch when it's done. I'll be back to you in about, well, it'll be a second to you, about five minutes for me. Right, so I've done round the camera part. Now what I want to do is, this green, it's too green. So what I've been doing is sticking some of these brown strips. So, I'll stick one here. It's just a sort of give it another colour for its camouflage And same again, we'll get another one. And we'll just keep wicking his way down. When it pulls, it'll look pretty good. Right, I'll get back to you in another minute or so. Right, next one. Like I've said a few times in the video, I'm not saying this is going to stop people nicking them. All it's doing is give it that little bit of extra camouflage. You know, you can have landowners' permission to put them out. It could be your own little bit of woodland. You're always going to get trespassers. You're always going to get someone who shouldn't be there. And they are. Where I live, it's just local woodland. And there's quite a lot of rogues attached to free estates to them woods. So... They are going to wander around in the little gangs, and if they find them, they will take them, no matter what I do. But, if I can hide them, I will do. Right, I'll let this dry, and I'll spin it round and show you it complete. Right, so as I pull it, you imagine you're pulling it round tree now, with these going through the end parts here. all will open up and it'll just give it it'll definitely give it that bit of extra camouflage right what we'll do is I'll go put them on garden fence and then uh, you can see them again some woody sort of things well I brought you outside I just put them to my tree what do you think about that 
the top one's the SunTech, the second one's the SunTech without camera on, and the bottom one is my Ape Man. I think the Ape Man is camouflaged a lot better from a distance. I'm just trying to block out the sun from getting on the lens. Round a tree, I think that'll be really good. I really do. Dog next door crying, seeing its owner. Let's look at that, I think that's going to look ace. I think I've actually probably found a way of making my cameras not get stolen. Excellent. I really am pleased with this. Give your thoughts below. Let me know. I'd be interested in other people's thoughts as well. You can just look at the ape, uh, the sun tech. It's obvious, isn't it? That was obvious around the tree as well. But if you got this camouflage stuff around it, it's going to make it look a lot better. I'll tell you what, I will put them out today. I'll go find somewhere to put them out. And I'll uh, just see what it looks like around the trees. We'll sort a little bit of flapping and start what's happening around here. We'll deal with that. And I'll just bring you back when I make another video of the trail cameras. Thank you for watching anyway. Do give me your uh, comments about it. My next video I'll upload, it'll probably be tomorrow, and that'll be about another garden burner. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.